Okay, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the molecular, excuse me, the empirical and the molecular formulas if we've been given the mass data. And what that means is we've been told from an analysis of a sample, the mass of each of the elements in our sample. So here we have a sample that's analyzed, was found to contain 2.59 grams of nitrogen and 7.41 grams of oxygen. And we're also told that the molar mass is 2.16 grams excuse me, 2.16, 216 grams per mole. And we want to know what the empirical and the molecular formulas are. And the first thing we want to do is we want to write down the elements that are present and the mass of each of those elements. So the first one is nitrogen. And nitrogen, we're told, is 2.59 grams. And we also have oxygen. And we're told that the mass of the oxygen present is 7.41 grams. Now you have to remember for a chemical formula, the chemical formula tells us the ratio of the num number of atoms of each element. It's not the mass of each element. So in order to do this, we have to do what we have to do first is we have to convert our grams to moles. So we're going to take the grams of nitrogen and we convert it to moles of nitrogen using the molar mass and the molar mass of nitrogen oops, is 14 grams cancel, and it turns out that our sample contained 0 0.185 moles of nitrogen. We're going to do the same thing for the oxygen. We can convert the grams of oxygen to moles of oxygen using the molar mass of oxygen. We know one mole of oxygen has a mass of 16.0 zero grams, grams cancel, and now we know we have 0 0.463 moles of oxygen. Okay, so that's the number of moles of each element present. Now we want to be able to compare the ratio of those two uh, so we can get the number of atoms of each element. And the way we do that is we divide each of the molar values by the smaller molar value. So 0 0.185 is the smaller of the two. So we're going to divide each molar value by the smaller molar value. 0 0.185 divided by 0 0.185 is obviously 1. The moles cancel. We're going to divide the other molar value for oxygen by 0 0.185. So now we're going to divide 4.63 going to be 0.463 by 0.185 moles. Once again, the moles cancel. And if we divide these two, we come up with 2.50. So that tells us that the molar ratio, the ratio of the number of atoms of each element, the nitrogen to oxygen, is one atom of nitrogen for every 2.50 atoms of oxygen in our chemical formula or in our chemical compound. Now, as you know, for a chemical formula, we have to have whole numbers. We can't leave this as 2.50. The easiest way to do that is to just multiply 2.50 by 2, and you get 5. Well, if you multiply 2.50 by 2, you also have to multiply the 1 by 2, and 1 times 2 is 2. So now we have our empirical formula. We know that the ratio of nitrogen to oxygen is 2 to 5. So that is the lowest whole number ratio. So that tells us that the empirical formula is N2O5. All right. Now we've also been asked to determine the um, molecular formula. Now in order to do the to determine the molecular formula, we have to compare the molecular weight to the empirical weight. So we're going to calculate the empirical weight, and we come up with the empirical weight for N2O5, or the molar mass for N2O5, is 108 grams per mole. All right, now we're going to compare the two. We're going to compare the molecular weight or the molar weight, this could be the molar mass, to the empirical weight, we're told the empirical weight is 
216 grams per mole, we figured out that the empirical weight is 108 grams per mole. And if we divide those two out, our units cancel, and we're left with two. That tells us in our chemical formula, in our molecular formula, that the number of empirical formula units is two. So in order to come up with the molecular formula, we have to multiply our empirical formula by two. So that means that the molecular formula is going to be N4O10. And that's all you do. We have here our molecular formula. We have here our empirical formula. And we got that molecular formula by comparing the molecular weight to the empirical weight. All right, so there you go. Those are the steps. I hope that was helpful. Thank you very much.